Last year, I bought a 62-year-old Rolls-Royce Silver Cloud II for only $26,000. It looks decent from far away, but it was cheap because it looks like this on the outside, and it looks like this on the inside. The car had a whole slew of mechanical issues as well, and I've been picking away at those on a budget, but it's come time to really make this thing worth something by addressing all of its cosmetic issues. This car in good condition is worth at least $50,000 and after removing all of the seats six months ago and handing over $6,000 to have them recovered, they have finally come back to me. And boy, oh boy, do these $6,000 seats smell delicious. So we went with a very thick, good quality leather and this could very well be fake news, but the guy who recovered these, he did take six months, but he claims that the last Rolls Royce seats that he did were for the Queen of England. And he's local to me here in Chicago. So not really sure if that is true, but nonetheless, he did an excellent job. And in this video, we're not only gonna mint out these $5,000 factory Rolls Royce carpets on a budget, and of course, install our new seats, but we're also gonna make this dull, scratched, and very dirty paint look like this. We're trying to get this pin in like one of these ones all the way over here. Gotcha. As, as far as we can go, basically. Peter, are you a Rolls Royce seat expert? Yeah. Oh, whoa. All right. Let's hope you um, keep your you fingers through this job. I know. You, go. you got this. Oh, that is scary. Right, now release the pin. There you go. Oh, oh my gosh. Here's the inner workings of a bench seat that actually moves back and forth. There are a lot of dangerous springs going on here. And uh, the guy that took this all apart to redo the seat definitely did not put them back together. So we are here to put this back together. Cheerio. Pip, pip. English, come on. Queen of England. There you <laughs> go, there you go. All right, so this is really, really difficult. We, Peter and I tried to do this, but it's like a three-man job. So this has to go over this. Why don't you go ahead and slip this side over first. That, that's probably what this is. Oh, that's from the previous Englishman doing this. Okay. <laughs> if we survive this job, it'll it'll be a miracle. Okay. You got it. Okay. Cheerio. Hey, what happened, Peter? I got the blood. You got a boo boo. Oh no. Oh, I didn't get it on camera. There's no proof, Peter. That didn't happen at work. That happened at home. <laughs> I need. It sounds like a workman's yeah, cop claim. Yeah. Oh. Evidence. Peter's fine. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> My back! My back! I got whiplash! <laughs> Peter's arm doesn't function anymore, so I'm stepping in here. Let me show you how it's done, mate. Pretty sure that's Australian. Oh, yeah. Putting your hand in there oh. is probably a bad idea. Oh! All right. I wonder if there's anyone in the comment section that is going to tell us what we're doing wrong here because they've done it. These are factory pry bar dents from the English. Oh yeah. All right, next up we have these super safe springs that could cause no pain or injury whatsoever. I so my elbow right Peter will uh, have you take that away, please. Oh my God, I'm standing right in front of this. Okay. Ready? Oh, the box is stuck on that. All right, so now this bottom part literally just rests inside. It doesn't get bolted in at all. That's it. Oh, it's definitely a tight fit. That's why there's no hardware for this. All right, so the seats are ready to go in the rolls after we shampoo the carpets. You all right, Peter? Um, oh yeah, the infection is spreading. Oh, what if, um, what if I fix the side bolster on your car? Would that make you feel better? I think that. Yeah, that would make us feel better. Okay. All right, so this is Peter's sweet Chrysler Conquest. And this is sad Peter because his elbow hurts and mostly because the outer side bolster of the passenger seat of his Conquest looks like this. But by the end of this, Peter's gonna have a gigantic smile on his face because we're gonna fix this for about $20 using the Clyde's recoloring balm system. All right, Peter, let me show you and the folks watching how easy this is. You're first gonna clean the leather seat like so with their cleaning foam easy enough next we're going to use their deglaze to take out any old wax grease sweat anything that's going to not allow our recoloring balm to soak in and do its job and now the fun part we're going to use a little bit of the recoloring balm on the supplied sponge 
and we are gonna make all of your problems disappear right now, Peter. Are you seeing this? Look at that. So you're just gonna wipe it on. Anything that's worn, you can do spot repairs with this as well. I've used this a bunch of times on a few different cars and the results are amazing. There are shops that literally charge two, $300 to fix bolster wear when you can do it at home for around 20. It's ridiculous. And of course, I'm gonna be leaving you guys a code down below. The code's legit 20 and that's gonna get you 20% off anything they have on their website. So I'll drop the code and a direct link to what I'm using in this video down below in the description box and in the comments. And this isn't just for spot repairs. You can recondition and restore the color of all of your leather interior surfaces in just a few minutes and save yourself literally hundreds, if not thousands of dollars. So after you're done wiping the recoloring balm on, you're just gonna simply buff off the excess and let it dry and nothing is ever gonna come off. So you're supposed to let this dry overnight, but I'm literally not letting it dry at all right now. And look what happens. If I rub this on there, there is no transfer whatsoever. And so we went from a super sad Peter all the way to a super happy Peter that has a fixed side bolster. And Peter, they do make this in many different colors in case you don't have a black interior. And yeah, I think, I think this matches the best for you. All right, guys, we're gonna kick this party off with one of the dirtiest parts of the carpet. This is where your driver's feet would go, whether you're driving the car or if you literally have a driver. So all we're gonna do is turn this bad boy on. So right now I'm off the trigger, which sprays the cleaner, and I'm just gonna suck this up now. So there are really expensive carpet cleaners out there. Some of them are like 800 to a thousand dollars, but in my experience, they basically do the same thing. I mean, look at the before and after. There are no stains in this section of the carpet at all. All right, so I'm gonna do another one, just a line right in the middle of all this, and then we'll move on to some of the other stains and see what we can do. This is so much fun. With the fluid, I think I spent like 120 bucks or something like that on Amazon. This is so good. I mean, think about it. If you just had one of these and you were able to fix some of the leather in your car with the leather balm, it's like you could restore or partially restore your interior for like 150 bucks over and over and over again. So lots of DIY options when cleaning up your interior and this is an excellent one. All right, if you look in this area here, we have a bunch of stains from Jeeves spilling his tea with milk in it. Do you guys seriously put milk in your tea? Actually, I don't know, it's, it sounds pretty delicious. I just gotta try it. It's either that or some gigantic American coffee spilled right here. So let's see what we can do with these old stains. They could be decades old. They are gone, we can't see anything left in here. This is nice, these things are gonna turn out perfect. And to think that these are $5,000 to replace, I mean, I understand that some of them are gonna have holes in them if they're in really bad condition, but yeah, so that stain is completely gone. Totally gone, can't see it no matter which way we go here. So that fixed it. All right, cool, let's do the rest. All right, so next up we have some wine spillage, possibly blood. Who knows what's gone on in the back seat of this Rolls Royce over the last six decades but it's nothing we can't handle with this. And just like that, we've removed stains that looked like that, and they were much worse actually in this area, and they are all 100% gone. Another really inexpensive option when you're cleaning interiors is to have a steamer. So I've had this guy for like 15 years. Um, and by the way, guys, it doesn't really matter what brand you get. All of these cheap $100 steamers and $120-ish dollar carpet cleaners, I think they're all the same. We have like a 10-year-old one of a different brand at home, and it works great. So pick whatever you want. I'll leave Amazon links down below, but just Get the one that has the biggest sale, basically, is what I'm saying. Uh, but anyway, these steamers are really nice. If you have really tough stains to get out, 
uh, these can help. So I don't think we have anything here that we can't handle with the carpet cleaner, but this is just kind of fun to do. So basically this will heat up. I mean, this is really hot. Like I'll burn my hand if I go in there. It'll heat up the fibers and kind of loosen everything up. And then you can go at it with one of these. All right, there you have it. This spot's clean too. All right, my last deep cleaning carpet method, if you don't want to really spend much money at all, is uh, Tough Stuff. This is a very good multi-purpose foam cleaner. And then as you could imagine, you're just gonna spray your Tough Stuff right on your carpet. This stuff foams up pretty nice. And then for about $15, you can get a set of these white brushes and they work really well on a drill. All right, then you will need a vacuum cleaner for this, but I'm assuming most of you guys have that. And just like that, you have perfectly clean carpet. So any three of these DIY options work very well. You can kind of see the before and after there of all the dirt. Um, but I would say this is by far the easiest standalone option. Carpets are all done. We're having them dry out in the sun on Peter's Conquest. Don't worry, don't worry. This car needs a paint job, all right? We're not hurting anything. Now for the best part, the dumping of the old Rolls-Royce carpet water. Ew. Six decades of dirt going right down the drain. Goodbye. That's all she wrote, folks. All right, guys, while the carpets are drying, we get to start installing this new supple interior. So I had all of the foam padding replaced with some modern stuff, and we went with the most comfortable material you could ever get. It's double layered, and it has this vapor barrier as well. So very well done piece here. So look at the color match. You really can't tell. This is the original leather on the door panel, and it's identical. And this is actually much thicker than the factory stuff. So this is actually an improved leather interior. Better than Rolls Royce. It's better, it's better than Rolls Royce. All right, so at this point, we're just going to slide this in and the factory one had a bunch of excess leather as well. So at this point, this guy just kind of wedges itself right in here. And then there's gonna be a screw right here that we install and two from the inside in the wheel well. And that's about it. And you can rest your arm right here. Look at look at how smushy this is. It's so nice. All right, next up we have this top piece right here. Very fancy. And this piece is held in by bolts that go through the trunk. All right, so we're just gonna go ahead and slide this guy in. So yeah, the whole squishy armrest that I was talking about, it kind of disappears with this piece. So this is cool for like resting your head on, I guess, but I'd rather, I don't know, I don't know. Oh yeah. Is that good? Yeah. Solid. Well, I just came out to check on the carpets before we install that back seat. They're actually completely dry already, which is great, except that uh, we hit a bird. The bird flew by and pooed all over our freshly shampooed carpet. So we uh, protected the conquest though. I appreciate which, it. Yeah, it's really all that matters. All right, good thing we know how to get that out. Look at this, they just did a drive-by on Peter's conquest. <sighs> Animals. All right, this is gonna be the easiest part of this entire job, which is just plopping down this back seat. Oh, yes. Oh, this is too nice. Oh, this works well for a headrest. I don't know about an armrest, but you don't, you don't, I could live in here. This is so, so comfy. All right, let's get the other one in. Get the full effect. Lift with your lower back in a quick jerking motion. There right, we go. Oh yeah. All right, so there's a couple of bolts back there. We did this too. So the armrests, even this little guy here, all brand new. I'm selling this car, by the way. And now I'm kind of thinking I don't want to. With the back seat done, it is carpet time. They are dry. We no longer have bird poo on them. They're actually 
like really hot. They're heated carpets right now. Let's see, been baking in the sun. And now we're just gonna go around and snap them in. All right, front carpet going in. All right. Okay, front seat is going in. The other side. Almost there. Peter had to go uh, shoeless on our new carpet. <sighs> okay. All right, you guys got to see how big of a pain in the butt this is. So this is a washer underneath the carpet, so the threads are actually in the body. So you have to line up this washer with the hole in the body. Then you have to slide this literal piece of wood wrapped in leather like that. And then look at this little creation here. This is a Rolls Royce spacer and that needs to go right here. Then you slide your bolt in here. And I know this probably sounds easy, like no problem Alex, just thread it in now. No, each one of these takes like 15, 20 minutes of messing around, of pulling this apart, of going like this, of moving this stupid washer thing around it is a pain in the butt. All right, so I had these wrapped also, and they just slide right in. And then you clip this down. So you can actually raise and lower the level of this depending on where your arm wants to be. Oh, what do we got here? Lottery tickets. Jackpot, 105 million. What are these from? Georgia Lottery. This is a Southern car. Um, it was in Georgia and Florida, I think all of its life. I hear October 2009, this guy was playing the lottery. All right, maybe he won. Wait, no, then we wouldn't have these tickets, would we? I don't know how the lottery works. We got some hair gel and air freshener. Roll of paper towels, I'll leave that for the next guy. You know what, I'll leave that for the next guy. And that for the next guy. All right, we'll do the grand final reveal outside in a few minutes. We just have to buff the car out, but the interior is done. The seats are complete, and this is a very nice and complete car overall. There's no cracks in this wood dash, which is a very, very expensive thing to fix. So if you're ever looking for one of these, this is a big plus. All the gauges work, everything pretty much works in this car. Um, but now we have beautiful seats to match, and it has individual armrests and look at look at all the leather work that he had to do inside of here all the stitching i mean it took six months for me to get these seats back and it was a big pain in the butt not having seats in this car for so long but now that i'm looking at them and they're installed it was all worth it and the wood back here is also in really nice condition and probably one of my favorite parts of the car would have to be these trays back here where you can have your sandwich your great poupon and whatnot peter oh hello Hi. Welcome to the posh zone. What, uh, you got, a, what, you got pistachios there? Yes, they are quite delicious. And nutritious. Excellent. I say. I don't know what I like better, the back or the front. I mean, this is super comfy. I was kind of ragging on these bolsters here, but it just wraps around you. And yeah, this armrest is just beautiful. We also did new leather straps for the grab handles as well. So just all the little details, all the leather work in this car is now Perfect. Looks like I got a reverse bulb out. Other ones work though. So right now we're bringing it into the wash bay and we're gonna clean this up and then get to buffing, doing a little paint correction and touch up work. We're gonna make this thing shine. How cool is this right here on the bumper? The chrome on this car is in excellent, excellent condition. Another really big deal. All of these little parts are hundreds and thousands of dollars. This entire thing right here, this is all one piece, is about $5,000 used, obviously. So another tip when you're buying one of these things is to make sure that it's totally complete because if you save a few thousand dollars because it's missing some of these items, you're gonna more than pay for it later. Blast you, spirit of ecstasy. So I think this is old lacquer paint. I think at the time they did a really good job painting this car. It, it seems very thick. This is her first bath in about 18 months. I washed it when I got to Florida after driving it 200 miles from Georgia. 
But other than that, it's just been hanging out in the garage. These things look really good in white as well. Here, look, I'll show you. <laughs> Dad joke. Dad joke. All right, guys, I'm not gonna bore you with washing a car. So I'm gonna do this, we'll dry it off. We'll get to the touch-up work. Well guys, I must say, she cleans up pretty darn nice. But if you get up close, well, even from far away, you can really see how even the clean paint looks pretty dull and faded and scratched. So we think that this car was painted about 40 years ago. And because I bought this from a 90 year old lady who owned it for a few decades, uh, I know that it's really never been buffed out or anything. She actually owned this car with her husband twice in their lifetime. They bought it like 60 years ago and then rebought it like 30 years after that and then had it ever since. Um, so this paint has never been buffed out and it shows. So you guys have already seen a bunch of my buffing videos. So we're just gonna stick to the satisfying parts here. And I usually do a tape line to show the before and after, but we have a chrome piece of trim here for our tape line on the hood. So uh, let's take advantage. All right guys, we're gonna hit this with a coarse foam pad and some coarse compound. And we'll see how difficult this is gonna be. This might take Peter and I like literally a couple of days, but it'll just be a few minutes for you guys. Let's see what this little section looks like compared to the rest, and then I'll do the rest of the hood. Wow. Oh man, this is great. I don't know if we have buffed out a black car yet here at Legit Street Quarters. We've done a few with Chicago Auto Pros, but this is very satisfying. Look at the difference. Oh geez, this has got to be the most extreme before and after we've ever had on the channel. Okay, so here is our before and here is our after. This is crazy. This is crazy. It's gonna look like a completely different color car. I mean, look at it from far away. If you kind of block that out, it's like, all right, yeah, it's just a black Rolls Royce. But look at what it's going to look like. Oh my gosh. Peter, we got our work cut out for ourselves, that's for sure. We got a lot of real estate to cover. It's gonna be many hours for us, but just a few minutes for everybody at home. And this thing is gonna look so good. So let me, let me just finish this entire section so you guys can see the whole thing against the other side. Woo wee. Yeah. What do you got? What do you got, Peter? Oh, gosh, that oh looks so good. dude, a good job on this. Are you kidding? Guys, this entire job is just pure satisfaction. Look at this. I can't wait to show you the car outside before and after. So right now, Peter's going around with this little guy because there are so many curves, like stuff like this. It's really hard to get in there with the six inch pad. So this little Rupes guy, really kicks butt. All right guys, so after about an hour on just this side of the hood, here is what we have. Glass on the right and a roughly 40 years of contaminants and scratches on the left. Wow, it's like glass. This is amazing. And we still have a little bit more fine tuning to do on this side. I'll probably put like another 10 minutes into it. But uh, yeah, yeah. It just kind of speaks for itself. All right, guys, so we've run out of pads, so we had to go to the store and pick up some new ones. So I'm gonna try out some wool, and for some reason, this just seems like more period correct to be using wool here on the 61 Rolls-Royce. Uh, so I'm also hoping that this kind of cuts down our time because this is a little bit more aggressive than what we were using before, and that is probably way too much. Okay, here we go. Tape line time, baby. Woo, that's messy. All right. It's gonna be so much fun to clean my shop after this. Yeah. Totally worth it, I hope. All right, we'll slow this guy down a little bit. And I found that going really slow back and forth with the pad yields the best results. They're kind of heating it up a little bit more. It's a little counterintuitive. You think you want to just do like a million passes really fast. 
I don't really find that to work that well. Wow. Look at these full pad results that we haven't even wiped it yet. Very nice. All right. Let's get a nice before and after. I can already tell that this fresh new wool pad is going to cut our time down drastically. I mean, it's still gonna take many, many tens of hours to do this, but let's see what we got here. Our before and our after. Wow, I'm a big fan of the wool. This is all I used to use. I do like the foam pads if your paint isn't that bad, but this is a very extreme, and I think the wool is definitely going to help us out. Next time though, I think we're gonna turn this on outside and kind of brush it off first. That was, it's kind of a mistake. All right guys, I've buffed out the entire front end and what a gorgeous, gorgeous car this is. I can't get enough of it. But at this point, we're gonna make it even more gorgeous by fixing all of these rock chips. So this thing was a driver, it was used. We have a gigantic booklet with receipts and all the services and everything. It's pretty cool, dating back to the 60s um, and it was driven. And this is what's happened to the front end, just normal rock chips on both sides. So we're gonna go around and fix those. All right, so we actually had to drive the Rolls Royce to a paint store with no seats in it, and that was fun, um, because they wanted to see exactly what color this was. They wanted to do a paint match, and we couldn't bring them a piece of the car. That's what they asked for. They're like, can you take something off like a gas store or something like that? And I'm like, I don't wanna dissemble anything. So we brought it over there, we got the exact paint match. So we have four ounces, which is more than enough. This will be touch up paint for the rest of this car's life. And we're just gonna go around all these little blemishes and touch them up and just a tiny dab is all you need. And I know blacks all kind of look the same to most people, but there are different shades of black. So it's good to get it matched too. But it was only $20 to have this gigantic can of touch up paint made up at a local paint store. And it's gonna make this front end look much better. You'll obviously still be able to tell that we have little touch up marks. And here you go. We got a little chip there, gone. We got a bigger chip right here, gone. We'll get this as well, it's kind of a gouge. This is pretty tedious work, but it's also pretty satisfying. Goodbye, 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 goodbye. Cheerio, au revoir, is sayonara. it? Sayonara, is that something? Ciao, Just say ciao, uh, which is- Aloha, right? That's aloha, good. no, wait, that's goodbye or that's hello? It's both. It's both, yeah, same thing in Italian, ciao is both. It's like, hey, we invented ciao, do you think we should come up with a different word for goodbye? Nah. Let's just stick with the same word. People will get it. That's Italians for you. All right, guys, we're done with all of the touch-up work in the front end. It is looking really, really pretty. So here is what we had before. And here is what we have after. And I know on camera, it pretty much looks perfect. And from just a few feet away, it does as well. But obviously, if you get up there close, you can see the little spots that we touched up. So we're doing a really nice paint restoration job on this car, um, but you know, it's not gonna be a complete new paint job or anything like that. Most people would never be able to tell the difference though, especially, you know, from here, it's gonna look like a million bucks. To paint one of these cars is a very, very expensive process because right from the factory, they are skim coated with filler. So back in the day, all the panels would be really wavy on most cars. Um, but on Rolls Royce like this, they were very, very expensive cars. They wanted them to be very, very flat. So the entire car is skim coated. A ton of time goes into the bodywork on these. So if you have to repaint one, you have to redo all of that. So a paint job on a car like this could easily cost $15,000. So overall, the condition of this paint is really, really good. Um, but there are a couple larger paint chips like this. Uh, so like I was saying, it's such an expensive paint job that to fix this properly, to sand the entire area down and then try and blend new paint in with old paint would cost a lot of money. If you went to a professional shop, it could get into the thousands just to properly fix something like this. And our Rolls Royce is not a concourse show car. It is a nice driver. So for us, this is pretty good. You can't even tell where it is anymore. Hey, Peter, you're gonna work out over here. It's a little spicy. Oh. How's the roof? It is on fire. So here's a section of the roof that Peter has not done yet. And then if we follow our fluorescent light, which shows everything, we'll go over to the side that he's done. 
There's some more lights. There we go. Much better. All right, guys, we are done buffing this car out. It has been an absolute beast to do, but very, very satisfying results. So right now, we are all three of us going around the car uh, with some of this new Avalon King Armor Shield Light. It's a ceramic spray. I don't know if this is actually out yet. I'll leave a link down below if it is. Um, but I've been testing this for them for months and it works really, really well. So I'll be doing like an official promotion for that soon. But right now we're just going all the way around the car and just giving it a nice wipe down. We cleaned up the white wall tires as well. And uh, it's, it's a different car. It is not the same car that you guys saw in the beginning of the video, I'll tell you that much. All right, there we go. The legit street cars Rolls Royce plate, which I think I have sort of, yeah, that's centered. Where would you like to go, my lord? Let's go to the pastry shop, please. Yes, my lord. Our windows, check. Excuse me, driver, can you go a little bit faster, please? Yes, anything for you, my I'm lord. I'm running a little late. This thing is so good. It's like, it's sexy and boss and it's gangster it's oh it's oh it's so good i can drive it literally just looking at the reflection i don't even need to look at anything else ah. guys it just doesn't get much better than being driven around in an old rolls royce this is just it's great get my armrest down oh. sir shall we fetch your great at home but of course it's one of life's finest pleasures all right guys we are all done. It's been raining all day, but it just cleared up just for enough time probably for us to shoot this final scene. And uh, here she is, here she is. My 1961 Rolls Royce Silver Cloud II restoration. So this is what about 200 hours of restoration labor looks like. So the person who redid the seats, he said he spent about 100 hours over the course of six months, he took his time with other projects and whatnot, um, but he said he has at least 100 hours into the seats. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get any footage of that. He is an older gentleman and lives about five hours away, so it just didn't work out, but the seats did. The seats are phenomenal. I mean, just the craftsmanship, I think it's second to none. He did such a good job. Look at these seats. Oh, it's such a nice place to be. The wood on the car was already in really nice shape. We have the carpet all cleaned up. I think the carpet really turned out nicely, especially for just a few dollars in fluid and our carpet extracting tool. And then Peter and I and Max was out there. Our combined labor over the course of one week is probably around 100 hours as well. So this is at least a couple hundred hours worth of work, kind of all bottled up in a short video for you guys. Um, but yeah, I mean, it just, I hope the camera does this justice. The paint is in excellent condition. Like I said, from what I understand from knowing the history of the vehicle, the person who brokered the purchase of this for me knew the 90 year old lady really well. Um, he thinks it's about 40 year old paint, something like that. And if you guys saw the reveal video of this car when I bought it in Georgia and then drove it to Florida, you know that it came with a very thick binder of receipts. So we have most all of the service history and I don't think it had ever been buffed at all until now. But for $26,000, you can't beat this car. I mean, the chrome is in excellent condition. The wheels, the tires, now the paint, the interior, it still needs a few mechanical items. So we'll have one more video on the Rolls Royce fixing up what's left of the mechanics. We kind of did this a little bit backwards because it had no seats in it and I need to drive this to a couple of shops. So I figured I'd just do the cosmetic restoration now. Uh, and then we just have to do a little bit of exhaust work. We're gonna try and get the air conditioning to work. This is a factory air conditioning car, factory power steering car. It is left-hand drive. This is a very rare optioned car. And a lot of these Rolls Royce were two-tone. So some of them were brown and tan and green and tan. And I think some people like that, but overall, I think the white and the black Rolls Royce of this era is where it's at. I think this is a complete showstopper. The black with the chrome and the white walls, and now the nice cream interior, it just matches 
perfectly. All right, you know it wouldn't be one of my videos if we didn't do a before and after. So this is what the paint on the hood looked like before. Scratched up, oxidized, faded, destroyed if you will. And this is what it looks like now. Pure glass. I cannot believe the paint on this car ended up like this. It just looks so, so good. I'm telling you, from just a few feet away, it's basically a show car. I mean, it has little imperfections like I pointed out, but I mean, wow. Just look at this. Look at the lines, too. This car is just perfectly straight. There are no dents on the body of this Rolls Royce at all. And I just realized that towards the end of buffing it, I'm like, Peter, have you run into a dent yet? And he's like, no, I'm like, me neither. Just look at this. This is one of those cars that just looks good at every angle. It's just a statement piece. All right, I gotta give you one more look at the interior. This is too, too good. I have seen a lot of older cars with new leather and this is by far the best one. A lot of those guys go with vinyl though, to be fair and we went with real leather and it smells delicious in here and everything in here minus the air conditioning works the wipers the blower motor it's just overall a very solid solid car especially that solid wood right there and here's the back seat just one more time for you yes all right guys that will do it for this video but don't worry we have one more left on the rolls royce we're going to fix up some more mechanical items on this car we're probably going to eat some sandwiches with grape coupon in the back seat and some more shenanigans for you as well uh, but i really hope you guys enjoyed this one uh, aside from waiting six months for the seats what you saw in this video took us about a month or so to film just in between other projects uh, so we have a lot of labor into this, probably 30 hours in editing alone. Uh, so I really hope you enjoy these from start to finish videos where we don't break them up and you guys get to see a final product in the same video. I love making them for you and I got a lot of other ideas for some future from start to finish videos just like the one you just saw. So I will be selling this car after the next video. It'll be listed on modsandmiles.com. I'll leave a link to all their awesome live car auctions down below and with that give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it if you enjoyed the rolls royce project to this point share the video with all your friends subscribe if you haven't already and most importantly have an excellent day cheerio